Alright, this guide is going to help you hook your Xbox 360 up to a laptop with a wireless connection and uh, hopefully get you signed into Xbox Live with no problems. Alright, the first thing you'll want to do is take an Ethernet cord, hook it up to your laptop to the back of your Xbox as I have here. Your Xbox should have come with a, a gray Ethernet cable that shouldn't be a problem. This is for Vista by the way. Uh, the process is similar uh, with XP but I don't know if the exact button sequence is going to be the same. But here goes. First thing you want to do is hit the start button. Go over to network. Uh, when this pops up up in the blue area up there you want to go to network and sharing center and over in the blue area over here go to manage network connections and as you can see here I have a local area connection which is my ethernet cable hooked up to my laptop and xbox and my wireless connection which is from my laptop out to my ISP okay so the first thing you want to do right click on your wireless connection go down to properties this will ask you if you want to continue do it this window pops up click on the sharing tab and so essentially what this is doing or what it's asking you if you want to do here is if you want to share your wired connection with your wireless connection which yes that is what you want to do and there's two checkboxes here the one at the top um, this will allow you to connect to Xbox Live but it'll give you a moderate uh, NAT setting which can hinder some of the things you want to do on Xbox Live like uh, connect to certain friends or hear people through their mic and things like that so it can be a problem sometimes so if you want to have an open NAT setting uh, check both boxes for more information if you don't know what I'm talking about with NAT settings I used this website because I didn't know fully understand myself at first but um if you google this I don't know if you can read the link probably not but uh, if you google that you'll probably be able to find it um, this is very helpful and it'll help you understand what I'm talking about okay now after you decide what you want to do remember top just top is moderate bottom is open both if you want open okay go down to OK close out of that alright next thing you want to do is go into your Xbox and the way you get here is your system blade and then network settings then to test Xbox li Box Live connection it'll run through a series of tests to make sure everything's hooked up correctly takes a minute or two Right there it's done as you can see my NAT setting is set to open since I checked both check boxes so that's a good thing that's what you want and uh, from here 
you know just want to sign in the x box live so yeah i hope this was helpful